Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing some really sick setup thanks to Rook, Tanman, Atrax, Moiko, and Abyss for all giving me the green light to put out this video, but this is the 16 second setup I've been using for Rebirthing. It's not 100% of the time 16 seconds, you'll get a lot of 17s, 18s, even occasional 19s if you're pretty unlucky with ping, but it's pretty good setup. I like it a lot, and uh, we got permission to post it, so yeah. Uh, before we get into this video, though, we are really close to our goal of 4.5k and 5k subs. My goal for summer is 5k. If you'd like to help me reach that, I'm planning on posting a shitload of videos this summer regarding setups and honestly just meta tricks um, that I make up when I'm bored. So if you guys want to see that, subscribe. Also, Discord down below, a lot of people have been talking about the MPU trick I talked about in the last video, so if you want to see people's ideas, go in there. There's a ton of them. But, um, yeah, boys, uh, let's get into this. Sorry, I'm super tired. I've been trying to get this video out for, like, so long now. This was supposed to come out days ago. Alright, well, let's get into it. Alright, so first of all, you have to make your three turns. The first one, or not three turns, uh three things but pretty much first thing we got to do is set up the cannon it should go right here on the base i think it's six things up i'm not too sure let's check one two three four five six yep you're gonna put it right here your first turn is blight turn and your second turn is shiny blight turn you could Honestly, you raise the setup by two and use Wedding Cake as your turn, but it's just not nearly as quick. However, this is honestly just the best way to go overall with this turn. It's a really good turn. I know it uses Shiny and it's kind of aids, but it works, man. So, yeah. Alright, now, let's, uh, let's get into actually building this. First of all, we're going to need to put down another plat right here. Second of all, we need to put down the boy right here, spider queen right over here, angel's blessing right over here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get out our havia mine and we are going to put it right over here and the turns should all work perfectly. By the way, this platform is not needed. I'm just using it to kill the ores for consistent ore flow. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to get a platform. So I'm just going to turn off my camera so you can see everything. Uh, this platform right here, by the way, that's the one we need. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get out a pizza list. Get out a walrus blaster right over here. Get out another platform. Should go right up to about like right there. And then we're gonna put uh, temporal armageddon right here. Garden of Gaia, Gaia, whatever you call it. I don't know the name too well. And then I think it's a new platform right here. Uh, two up, not one. And what we want to do is we want to put Reaper's Fortress. No. Put it right here. And we want to pick this up and lower it. So it should only be one up. That was my bad. Or no, it's same level. Okay, yeah, I'm stupid. I'm so sorry, guys. Don't Don't mind me. I'm, I'm kind of dumb. Okay, like, I, I know I'm dumb. Don't worry about it. Let's get out a Quasar really quick. There we go. Yeah, okay, now it's working. Also, by the way, yes, the ores will be super inconsistent at the second turn right now, but this is normal. 
so don't worry about it. If you want to keep your ores consistently going through, just put a wall there. But this is normal at this part of the setup, just a heads up. Now then, we're going to put another darkest upgrader. Or not another, we're going to put a darkest upgrader. Put a platform right here, two up. We're going to put a backwards quantum clockwork. A Vulcan's Wrath. And then Tropical Breeze with Cupid's Arrow. And then right over here, we're going to get all three of the Christmas ghost items, the portables. So we want to put this one like right here. Dude, you can't even see the fucking beam anymore at this point, dude. It's so bad. With, like, the new shitty lighting. Like, it's good lighting, but it's bad lighting. If you know what I'm trying to say. Alright, there you go. There's that. And now, see how much more consistent it is? So, pretty much... What's going on here is now we want to put down a platform, I think, right here with the 1 million upgrader. Relic. Uh, let me know if something doesn't hit. Um, honestly, I'm I'm just really bad at checking if things don't hit, so that's fair game. Yeah, that's hitting though. I know that for sure. Um, then we I need to put Maryland's sorcery right here. And then we're going to put a platform down here. We're going to put fungus. gonna put soaring chopper and then what we want to do is we want to get golden clover blaster I'm gonna put this shit right here then big bunny ornament blaster Executive Pillars, Final for Baj, then another platform, we're going to put it right up here, going to put True Overlord Device, Glass Butterfly, I forgot which one I wanted to use for the video because I usually don't like to put Chinese in. Hold up. Oh yeah, that's true. Put them right here. See, Abyss knows what's going on. Oh yeah, and then, cool little trick, you could put Pearl Enhancer underneath, like right here. So, just a tip, I do recommend doing that. And you could put your energy core right over here. We're going to put a platform right here. Uh, 
Um, I'd say probably right about here is good. Put meatball. It's hitting, okay. And then swag city. Another platform. with life on it. You don't need any dreamers items to power it, by the way. And then death cap. But in between life and death cap, you do want to put excellent. There we go. And we're going to put Empyrean monument. max height and then we're gonna put ruby crystallizer right over here next up you want to put down the cybeg right over here pretty sure it goes right there yeah right there you want to put down cybeg right over there then we're going to put the Midas Blaster right next to it. And what we want to do is one unit below this plot. We're going to put Enchanted Library. Yeah, he's got a point though. Second turn does have some inconsistencies, but it's usually pretty fine. Oh, well, that was great. All right. Now what we need to do is get a platform put it way up high, like right over here. Ooftopian. Yep, that's hitting. All right, another platform. Void Star. Now that's Void Drive. Void Star. And then what you want to do is do this. We're going to put teleporter there, but you want to put a gap in between so we could check everything. You could just put devourers right here. This is super dark. Hold on. Also, let's move this ahead a little bit, probably by like three. Yep, that that's good. Then put devourer here. I'm going to make it so it's brighter too. Hold on. Right there you go. That's still not better. Fuck this lighting, bro. Alright, this is like actually the best I could do. I'm being dead ass. You know, they're the the horrible lighting. I'm so sorry guys. This is right here though. This put one ahead, you don't want it to go in just yet. Now, what we're going to do is 
we're going to put another platform. Same height. Just like this. Eval. Final upgrader. Going to move this down by one. Not in height, but where it's at. Move this up. There we go. That's so weak. We need better lights. Oh, that's kind of long range. Okay. And then an eval. You can't fit this here anymore, but I think we could put it here temporarily. Put dystrophy. And then a teleporter. Put this right here. This right here. Now, what we're also going to do is we're going to put Statue of Knowledge. And then we're going to put Clover Shrine. Or not Clover Shrine, Clover Refiner. And then the first eval is less than UTG. Second eval, we'll skip second eval for right now. Third eval is less than NQQGNT. Third e or fourth eval, also known as the last one, is less than SPTGNTL. Should be right around here. SPT GNTL. And then the second eval that we skipped over is greater than SPNON GNTL. Now, if we pulse, it should work. Oh, shit. I forgot the teleporters. I'm dumb. Put that there. Put this here. There we go. There you go. Works. Sent. Sometimes in, sometimes sent. It's honestly kind of whatever, just based off of what the Havium War is worth at the start. Now, pretty much though, guys, just a heads up. If you do decide to split your setup, I recommend splitting it around here, around the Death Cap or Empyrean even. Um, I split it at Death Cap, I'm pretty sure. And, um, yeah, that's, that's about it here. Otherwise, nothing really out of the ordinary. It's a good setup, and I thought it would be cool to share it with you guys. So thanks to everyone who allowed me to do this video. It's hopefully going to be uh, a good one. So let me know what you uh, think. And, uh, yeah, subscribe. Peace out.